Looking to maximize your golfing potential? Learn how from one of the world's best golf instructors. Join today at WDGLC.com. Okay, everybody, Wayne D. Francesco here. You may know me as Wayne D. It's my website, WayneDFrancesco.com. And I thought it would be interesting to, to take a look at Brendan DeJong's swing. And uh, I've got Jack Nicklaus right up here next to him. So, uh, two guys you might not uh, lump together, or at least uh, not think that you would want to compare their swings, but you're going to see a lot of similarities here, which is uh, interesting. So, as you watch the Zhang hit a couple of, uh, make a couple of swings here, the only thing that the announcers could come up with was over the top. Oh yeah, the Zhang's over the top, because that over the top move. Now, if you watch his hands, certainly they're coming out, but the idea here is that the pattern is well in going back, very deep and very upright with the shaft. So notice how the left arm, much lower than the right shaft, perfectly vertical, super across, but if you watch the pivot movement, look at the right hip depth there. See the right leg move backwards. Now, and here's the key to this. If you're going to fly that elbow up there and get the shaft across the line, you better recover with the out move. So you're going to watch the hands here. Keep going up and out big time. So you take a swing of like, like this, it's kind of hard to figure exactly where the top of the swing is so we'll call it maybe here now this move the key to this move and there's a bunch of keys to it or a bunch of good things about it is that that out move with the hands moves the right arm in front of the body as much as you can get when you're a big thick guy like Dijon. So he's going to pull that right arm in behind him, stand the shaft up, and then just kick it back like crazy. But if you watch here, you can see he's squeezing under both arms. And the club is trailing. So here's the shaft now. Remember, it was, it was way up it was way up there so look at the the amount that that thing has kicked so when it comes in it's never stuck and it's always moving left through the ball now the question is is this over the top and my answer to that would be depends on what you mean by over the top. Learn the Pivot Compression Golf Swing. Join WDGLC.com today. If you mean that the hands are looping from more behind, see the hands are here, right, if we mark it. If you mean that the hands are looping toward the head and out. So you can see that that's definitely a a loop there, right? So, if you mean that's over the top, I guess so, but that gives a, a negative connotation to something here that's really working nicely. And the key is the control of the shaft. If the shaft is leaning back on that right index finger and initially shallowing out and then coming in steepening and going left through the ball that's exactly how you would really like to do things so let's watch let's watch big jack here and see what he does so first of all the first thing you see is the hands definitely moving back with that right hip getting deeper and coming back to the inside then you also see the shaft standing more vertically than the 
shaft plane by a bunch you'll see the left arm much much more under the right so if you look at the Zhang swing all you see here that's different from Nicholas is that it's just a little more of it it's a little more exaggerated the leg movement looks pretty similar now watch now Nicholas's hands won't be going up toward his head as much now he was thick but he's not really quite as thick there he's a little more evenly distributed in his body than Dijon so when Nicholas shallows the shaft the hands won't go quite as far out but if we're looking at it coming forward here apart from where the hands are in relation to the chest so in other words if I draw a line up from his hands I draw a line up from Nicholas's hands you can see the difference there is probably three or four inches of depth with in Jack's swing look at the similarities of this coming down so one of the keys here is that the shaft is always in between the arms and then as he's hitting the ball watch that watch the hands deliver left and the ball shoot out to the right and Nicholas is hitting a draw here so if you think Nicholas always hit fades with this move you're wrong because if you watch this sh if you watch the, sh the show here you can see this ball is curving right to left now watch this watch the follow through now, I'm not saying that Brendan DeJong swings exactly like Jack Nicklaus. I guess my point here is that when when you hear things like, oh, over the top, that's just a conventional phrase that's overused. And the reality of it, it's much, much more complicated as to what is actually happening and what might work in a golf swing. Now, Watch the exit position here. Take a look at the at the arms of these two guys. And if you drew these angles, you draw these angles on the on the arms. It's it's pretty darn close here. All right, so so we're looking at a at a pattern here where the hands go in and then up and over. But the shaft is going to lean back as that's happening. So, so we had Nicholas here. Let's take a look at another guy who went sort of in. Watch Jones, Bobby Jones. Take a look at this one. Now the difference with Jones's swing is that he kept his elbows more level and he rounded the shaft off so it wouldn't stand up quite so vertically here but look at the cross right so here's the pattern he wants to hit the ball I mean, his foot line is here he's probably a little closed if we watch eventually where this ball takes off well, he's not closed but the ball's taken off here so take a look so you can see how cross that is. Now watch these hands go. <laughs> now, now if Bobby Jones is on television, are they going to talk incessantly about how he's over the top? It's a, it's a swing pattern. It's a type of movement that over time has proven to be very, very effective in hitting the ball. So we can also take a look at another good player here let's take a look at Byron Nelson now you tell me where are those hands going so that that backswing really mirrors DeJong's backswing and we can take a look at take a look at another one of his swings Now what I 
like about the hands coming out is that when the end of the grip is moving this way, to me, the other side of the body is primed to move that way. And the thing that I see getting in the way of golf swings more than anything is the idea that you would like to swing the club in to out somehow to hook the ball and when the hands drop down that they can come from the inside well all that serves to keep the body facing the ball too long I like this opening inside I like the sidearm move if you look at Hogan's book he spent a large amount of space talking about sidearm throwing So if you wonder why Brendan DeJean made more birdies than anyone on the tour the last couple of years and why he wins a bunch of money even though his swing doesn't look conventional it's more conventional than you think because take a look Byron Nelson right hands dead in club nice and vertical crossed and then out it comes it's just that Nicholas and Nelson both... Now, Nelson's a real skinny guy, so he could get that left arm pinned up against him and drop that shaft back a little more against him, so he's not bringing it out in front of him so much. But Dijon does the most with his torso. And uh, they did make a point that uh, it, it's similar to Craig Stadler's swing, which I think is, is true. Um, looking at his body type, Stadler was very thick, just like uh, just like Dijon. And really, <laughs> had kind of the had kind of the same move. I played a practice round with uh, Craig at Medina in uh, 99 and uh, it was pretty impressive man he really hit the ball good but take a look very similar in right arm up hands out club between the, the arms exit left bodies opening up nicely it's, if you're thick, it's a cool way to swing, but I think it's a, you know, if you look at Jones and Nelson, I mean, and Nicholas, taking that club inside is not really the death move that some people would say it is. So, whether or not that's over the top, I would say no, or I would say, okay, you know, the hands are looping with qualifications. But anyway, um, I actually look for Brendan DeJong to eventually win a nice couple of big tournaments. All right.